Have you heard the concept of 1% a day? And in this video, I will take you through how I personally strive to get that 1% growth for myself every single day. And imagine the impact it will have when accumulated over a week, over a month, a year, and over several years. You can literally see yourself growing in front of your own eyes. So here are six sources of inputs that I tune myself to every single day. Number one, audiobooks. If I want to have an in-depth knowledge about a particular topic that has interested me, all that I do is in the morning when I'm doing my gym, when I'm doing my strength exercise, I use AirPods. AirPods to listen to audiobooks. So my hands are free, hands and legs are free to do the exercise, to lift that weight, to do my core or whatever part of body that I want to focus on as part of my strength training. But in addition to that, it does two things. One, I am listening to an audiobook of my choice. And at that time, I am in my best physiology. You know, motion creates emotion. So I am physically active. My body is in motion. So there is a better chance that I will be able to absorb. I'll be more active to the contents of what I'm listening through my ears. And as a result, I'm more inclined to take actions out of that audiobook. It is not about the number of books you read. It is not about the speed with which you read books. It is not even about the book that you read. It is about what actions do you derive from what you have tuned into. So it creates some real action because I'm in my motion state. So in my best physiology. And the second thing, it contributes to me indulging in one audiobook every two weeks. So a nine hour book, I'm able to complete over a period of two weeks, which is great. It, it is really good because if you sit down to read a physical book, it is hard, very hard to find time. Honestly, we all want to do it. I was a paper book person, but it just doesn't work with me anymore. So this little bit of multitasking helps me to get there. And um, the speed that which, with which I read my book, it is usually 1.5 to 1.8 times, uh, depending upon the speed of the person who's narrating the book. So that's the first source of input. The second one is tech talk. In the afternoon, when I'm making lunch, lunch for myself and my kids. Usually um, I require around 20 minutes. And in those 20 minutes, I look at the TED application on my phone. I've got it on my phone. And I pick out something that seems different or something that I want to know about, something that I feel curious about. And for 15 to 18 minutes, I listen to that new idea. TED is all about idea. So again, it stimulates your brain and you get to learn something new. Now, the third thing that I tune into is while talking to my clients. So these are real people. And I call myself a student of human psychology. I really love to see how people get caught up in the effect of a problem rather than the cause of the problem. So over a period of time, and because I'm a coach with practice over, over years, I've learned to peel the layers and get to the root cause. And I love doing that. It is mentally very stimulating. It gives me a lot of juices when I see people get to the root of the problem. And once you get to the root, it is easy to get, you know, get it resolved. So I love doing that. Also, it helps me understand how different people are. In the same situation, two people will act very differently. And the way it appeals to them soft talk, hard talk, I call it hard love, um, or, uh, you know, uh, different styles, how it appeals to different people and how it enables them to take actions. Again, this is very interesting for me. I learn a lot from these sessions. So while creating results, people think that they are benefiting. Actually, I am benefiting because I'm learning from real life situations, real humans. Um, and as a student of psychology, it really matters a lot to me. The fourth source of input is my family. This input is the one which keeps me grounded, which keeps me 100% present. It is about not so much about problems. It is about how their day has been. What do they want to do in life? About their friends, about 
you know um the kind of food that they want to eat which holiday do they want to go to so with my kids with my husband with my husband while walking and with my kids sitting in their room um it's like going where they are holding their hands and walking the journey together so i think that's that's a very sacred time and it enables me to be more present to such uh, conversations and i and i simply love that input number 5 that's with my friends the friends that i have chosen i'm very selective of the people that i spend my time with and these friends we know each other we challenge each other we totally understand the way our mind works so we challenge each other we appreciate each other we are with each other in hard time as well as good time we are each other's cheerleaders so that time again it's like learning as well as contribution so a good combination of that and i enjoy that and the last one the last source of input that i tune into is social media yes social media people say you can get addicted to it well i have learned to use it to my advantage so 20 25 minutes a day i spend on social media and this is just absorption this is seeing what is happening what how, how are people thinking the kind of phases in life that they are going through so this is again observation which is a big indulgence for an introvert like me and bringing all these six inputs we had inputs now what do we do with those inputs now to bring it all together comes my me time this is the time in the afternoon everybody in the house knows not to disturb me at that time this is my time me time so there's a sofa in the rumpers where sun comes like it's at that time in the afternoon around 2:30 it is sun is coming in and i sit down penning down my thoughts i love it juices flow in my body you can find me salivating at the thought of it my best time in the day and um, i'm putting down my thoughts what did i learn during the day what is it that i want to do with my life and gratitude for the people for the different things that i am feeling at that point of time so it's my time there's no structure to those thoughts but i just write it so this way of getting inputs from six sources and then putting it together at one point in the day it really helps me contribute to that 1% growth within myself do i actually tune into all the six sources on every single day no sometimes it is five sources sometimes it is three sources but usually these are the six inputs that i pamper myself with to keep growing what are your sources of inputs are they the right inputs are they actually serving you well are they propelling your way forward and if you need to change what is it that you would like to add to the inputs that you tune yourself to